So this is a World of Warcraft review published on 2008, and it was posted up a long time ago, too. All right, so here we go. As you can see, it's a very old video because of the aspect ratio. This is from over 10 years ago. Because this is just the upload date, and this is re-uploaded. Keep that in mind. Have a, have a nice day. As we all very deep, thank you very much for the 10, uh, $10. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Give McConnell his share. McConnell, McConnell, queer. Thank you very much for the $5. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go. Massively multiplayer online role-playing games have been around for years now, but it's taken this long for the genre's breakthrough hit to finally emerge. But World of Warcraft is indeed that game. This is uh, just there an is, incredible dude. accomplishment and an incredibly fun game above all else. He's playing it's a girl filled character. with uh, basically everything that's ever been great about the massively multiplayer online RPG genre, and it delivers a lot of new stuff as well and, and just fills you with a sense of wonder as you explore the game's incredibly huge and beautiful world. It it's is, it's just a one-of-a-kind experience, and it's something that's recommendable to pretty much everyone. So regardless of what you may think of this style of gaming, this is the sort of game that you owe it to yourself to check out. It's, it's just really a mind-blowing and staggering and makes you glad that you are someone who plays games and feel sorry for people who don't. That's true. One of the most striking things about World of Warcraft is There's that the, the game takes dam. place in this incredibly huge and seamless world. Oh my god. There aren't any real loading times here at all and in fact just getting from your desktop and into the game is a process that just wow. takes seconds. Uh, basically you can run around through the world and watch as the scenery changes, the original as the weather changes. Wind. Uh, as the lighting changes, all this stuff just happens all around you and, and the whole thing just feels so cohesive and is so rich with detail that you really do feel like you're in this other place. One of the great things about World of Warcraft this is, is the that Grell it's highly approachable. It's just very easy to get into and so easy, in fact, that it doesn't even have any right kind of tutorial. Right of you don't need one. You just kind of take a look at the uh, interface on the screen and you sort of intuitively get what's going one on. Copper. You figure out how to run around, use your abilities, and uh, suddenly you feel like you're an old pro at this stuff and don't feel like you have that much to learn, even though there's incredible depth and complexity waiting for you here. Another one of the surprises is that World of Warcraft is really just an action-packed game. It, it's not a kind of a action -packed. weighted down with, with the slow pacing that you'd expect from an online RPG. It's not See? weighted down by a lot of the boring downtimes and, and just the sense of a grind that you're doing the same thing over and over and over uh, just for small gains. So instead, you have this fast-paced combat uh, which almost feels more like an action game. It's definitely much more reminiscent of something like Warcraft 3 or Diablo 2 than it is of other online RPGs. Uh, it's, it's, you know, very action-oriented, and yet it strikes a perfect balance in that it's not so hectic that it's unmanageable. Uh, another great thing is that regardless thing of that which didn't type happen. of character you play, you can really hold your own against monsters, or of course you can greatly contribute uh, to player groups and choose to play with others or alone. So any way you choose to go, uh, whether you want to play this game for a half an hour at a time or for eight hours at a time, basically World of Warcraft is going to give you a good, a exciting experience. That's right. <laughs> the sheer variety of this casual. game is another one of its really outstanding qualities. Depending on which type of character you play, you'll start out in totally, totally different environments. And of course, you'll also have totally different things to fight, totally different quests to undertake, and so forth. The game's eight different races are split up into two factions, the Horde and the Alliance. And basically, these two factions result in pretty right much now. completely different gameplay experiences. So if you only play as one side or the other, you'll pretty much not get to see most of the other half of the game, or Remember at least you won't be able to see it from scroll? a friendly standpoint. At any yes. rate, uh, regardless yeah. of which race you pick, you'll be in for a very different feel and just to still be filled with the sense of majesty and, and awe that this world evokes. 
Beyond that, though, the game's got some clever and subtle innovations, and these are things that really distinguish it and put it in a totally different league than other online RPGs. No, uh, one of this. the great things here is that uh, when you die and death is an inevitability in all these games, it's really not that big of a deal. All other online RPGs make death a really bad thing because dying should be bad, right? Well, in World of Warcraft, pretty much all that happens is you sit out for a bit. You respawn back at a graveyard, and you run and get your corpse, and you respawn. You don't lose experience points. You don't lose your items or any of that stuff. So you're encouraged yeah, I never to kind of go out there and take risks and so forth, because the, the worst that should happen is that you know, you'll be out for a couple of minutes. There's also the rest system, which is a great way for this game to basically appeal to people who can't commit to playing this game for many, many hours at a time. Uh, all it does is it gives you a little experience bonus if you don't play for a while. So yep. if you make your character rest at an inn or something, uh, when you log off and you come back to it after a day, you'll get double the experience from killing monsters uh, for a little bit. So what this does is it puts a little wind at your back uh, as you go about leveling up and so forth, and it lets you catch up to some of your friends who maybe uh, play more than you do, and it gives you a reason to keep coming back and also makes you not feel bad about taking a break from the game. It's really a subtle and brilliant system. Also, if all the questing in combat isn't necessarily your suit or if you this want to take a break from it, this is all shit that we take for granted, the profession too. system, so you can uh, gather herbs and things or, or mine for ore and, and uh, kind of skin animals for leather and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, back in 2004, this is a big deal. And then produce these things into alchemical potions or uh, different armor and weapons and so forth. Uh, the great thing about this system is that, like the rest of the game, it's easy to get into, and it's instantly gratifying. Uh, pretty much right off the bat, you're making stuff that's immediately useful either to you or your friends. And you could send stuff off to your friends via the game's cool uh, in-game postal service, which is uh, one of the great little touches. It's what helps give this game personality, uh, because it's sort of this fantasy setting, kind of like Tolkien and, and all that, but at the same time, it's got these modern touches, like... Uh, subways and rifles and so forth. So uh, the, the world of the service, game really yep. has its own personality. In-game friends. Always brought to life through the incredible art direction and, and the amazing audio that you'll hear as you explore around and, and just go about your business. World of Warcraft also has a player versus player combat system, which on most of the game's realms or servers is purely consensual. So if you don't want to get jacked by other players, you could just avoid the PvP combat and things will be fine. However, you can opt to duel Consensual any player uh, combat, okay. basically down to the last hit point. And uh, you can also engage in uh, horde versus alliance sort of uh, PvP gang warfare or all-out battles. Uh, the game's PvP combat, is, like the rest of the is combat, is actually wow, a lot of like fun since the different character classes right have here. a considerable amount of depth and there's a lot of variety They're both just in how you balance and classes and uh, how you engage the foe and so forth. So it's, it's really tactical and pretty fun. Uh, but there's a lot boy. of potential here too. It's clear that World of Warcraft uh, was, uh, was designed primarily with the player versus environment experience in mind, but there are the building blocks here True. for a really exciting uh, player versus player game too. Uh, and it's something that's probably going to keep high level Wonder players if coming ever back. Happen for much longer after they've, you know, already maxed out their characters and all that stuff, which is going to take them hundreds of hours. All this game's uh, various accomplishments from, from a Those technical are the standpoint, ogres. from an artistic standpoint, from a yep. design standpoint, they all collaborate to make this game just fun. That's the bottom line. It's I remember not killing these just guys. This, you know, weirdly ambitious game that's trying oh to do all God. this crazy stuff. It's this game that's trying to entertain you, and it really does. I mean, it, it's a game that should appeal to pretty much any gamer on any level because it, it has a much of the essence of what makes games fun, the sense of competition, the sense of accomplishment and reward, uh, the sense of awe that you can get from uh, experiencing sort of a new environment for the first time or, or something like that. I mean, it's really just a dramatic and, and one-of-a-kind game, so even if you've already made up your mind about how you think of online RPGs, you really owe it to yourself to give this See, game a See, you try. shoot them, then you get them uh, in melee, you hit them. It's probably something that, if nothing else, that was you will absolutely hunter. appreciate having had the chance to play. Nine point five. It's a good game. That's kind of crazy. Was a good game. Oh uh, yeah. Hey Greg. Hello. Uh, thanks for coming back here. Of course. Um, yeah. In the first or ten video of celebrating experience of World of Warcraft, talk to Super Giant. Wait, this is the same guy ten years later. 
Oh my god. I, I all right, I want to see this. Going to be back. The hell, he looks good. I mean, like, you couldn't... It's looks like, like he... Looks like he quit. The wow. the folks who don't know, uh, who are you? What do you do now, and what did you do before? Uh, uh well, I'm, I'm Greg Gassavin. Uh, I work at a studio called Supergiant Games. We're, um, a small independent studio just a few blocks away from here in San Francisco. And we've made two games so far called Bastion and Transistor, which thankfully have done well enough for us to still be in existence. <laughs> and prior to that, I worked here at GameSpot. Um... That was whenever he had the hair. First a uh, real job, uh, and uh, and uh, I was editor in chief back then. But I started as an intern, and worked worked here for for ten ten years or so. And as as part of that, I got to review a lot of really good games, and occasionally some not so good games as well. And one of the really really good games was uh, was World of Warcraft. Massively multiplayer online role-playing games have been around for years now, but it's taken this long so that for was, the genre's breakthrough hit to finally emerge. That was fucking but 10 World of years Warcraft ago, is indeed that game. This is a, He's just an same incredible guy. accomplishment and an incredibly crazy. fun game above all else. It's filled with... I, I think a lot of the like most remarkable qualities about that game were, 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 were relatively subtle technical details. There were things like how it didn't take like two minutes or whatever to start playing the game. You just like double click the icon, type in your password, and you're in, at least after the first month once they got the <laughs> server stuff sorted. So it was really, it was just fast. Um, and once you were in, the whole world was seamless. And that, that blew me away. Things like EverQuest, they were all like very kind of zone based. So they were just these big maps this game with big sucked. long loading times in mm. between the maps. And when the goal of an MMO is is to kind of immerse you in the world, at least that's part of the goal. Um, the He's got difference his mountain, between his bags. kind of a collection of maps with exit points and load times, and oh. and this impression of a big scene world old is, is just a night and day difference. It oh like really God. delivered on just this kind of fully realized seamless world, and also where the combat itself, which was like the core of the gameplay, was was actually just uh, fun fun to do both solo and in and in groups. So before yeah, you reviewed it, you actually ended up doing an exclusive for GameSpot. Yeah, we um, GameSpot had the world exclusive like first preview of World of Warcraft. This was years Damn, before so that was like it came out, as is, has sometimes been the case for Blizzard games. So we spent the day with them seeing wow. seeing what they had there. They they showed the kind of seamless environment. They showed the art style and and the character design and everything, and they. You know, again, at, at, at that point, we I was talking a lot with them about like EverQuest and stuff like that and what they were taking from it. Mm. Was there um, any sense back then that this was uh, going to be a game that was going to have the longevity? I think that that was totally unimaginable. Like the level of success it achieved, they could not have possibly anticipated. I think for sure, though, the the game immediately came across as like the most ambitious thing that Blizzard had thus far set out to do. I think I think they were very much yeah. ambitious with it, while at the same time, um, having that kind of patented uh, Blizzard uh, pragmatism. And when you reviewed it, was there any? Could you ever have thought that it was going to last the test of time? Um, that it has? You know, I he was it, excited. World to look of Warcraft at it. is in in my ten years of reviewing games at Gamespot. It's one of the. It's one of the highest ratings I ever gave out. I for sure had a sense that this is a revelatory game in its in its genre. This is a big deal. Um, to what what that meant exactly, you know, surely I didn't anticipate like being here talking about it ten years later. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that level of success, uh, you know, peaked at what like twelve million or more. I wonder if he still Ever plays. was only, which was seen as a huge hit, was something like four less than five hundred thousand subscribers. As a massive hit, yeah. that was like what the success <laughs> Look criteria was. Look at this was. terrible game, you know, dude. Blizzard had launched big online games before and had gone through um, some of those woes before, like with Diablo 2 and stuff. Um, so they knew going in that there was going to be a lot of demand, and they, you know, and they thought they had like I think it was something like they thought they had like three times as much sort of capacity <laughs> as they needed, and then it was it was just nowhere near enough. So they they had to scramble for a while, but yeah. obviously, you know, people were ended up being forgiving of, of that initial uh, rough patch. Remember all those like two day and three day credits they would give you? Yep. Dude, 
these are the fucking days, dude. Yo, let me actually let me let me read the comments on here. I want to see what people say. Um, I sure miss the old WoW. Whenever you saw a guy wearing epics, you knew he had a shit bucket under him. <laughs> I didn't even know what he was saying for a second. Okay, and that was from four years ago too. I wonder if this guy still plays. That's the only that's the one thing I wonder is like all these people, like I wonder if they still play WoW, you know? Um I can't begin to show much miss this feeling. I haven't ever played the game these days. I'll never have that again. Yeah, epics were epics. Blizzard just announced legacy servers, boys. Crack a cold one. From two years thank you, Nostaurius. Lots of potential here too. Understatement of the century. Um let's see, is there another Still incredible and fun to play from four years ago. Too bad WoW IS shit nowadays and Blizz in all their wisdom refuses to start rollback servers. I am sure their subs would skyrocket if they did. True. Damn. Wait, wrong. Wait, that's this isn't the wrong video. Like, what do you mean? This is the right video. Like, shut the fuck up. Uh, okay. Let's see. And it's coming back. Okay. Um, damn that clicking skill. If only they knew. Yeah, this is crazy, man. Uh, I remember this vid. LOL. So old. Okay. So, like, this is... Do you remember this, man? Like, just, like, just a random... Remember... A random yeah, remember... guy just sitting there talking about video games. Right? I it's remember, not a bunch of... I remember of... this one and, and Morgan Webb and Adam... Sessler reviewing it as well and i remember g4 tv had like i remember would, morgan webb was hot right she was super hot okay dude. is it on youtube yes just a she second was super hot yeah what was it called uh is it g4 right x play uh, yeah x play wow review okay uh let's see x play back in the day okay this is only this is a three minute video let me just look at this one real quick Okay, um, let me stop moving so I don't get too far ahead. Okay, X-Play preview of World of Warcraft. Advertising right there. Don't sit here. Right I the won't. Thanks. Yeah. Welcome back to X Play. And we're back with the moment you've all I been used waiting to watch for. This. Yes, it's the first know, online RPG set yeah. in the popular Warcraft universe. So up until now, Warcraft has been a highly successful real time strategy series. Now, all of that is about to change. For the first time ever, Warcraft will be a massively multiplayer online RPG. And guess who got to take the beta version for a test drive? Me. Here's our preview of World of Warcraft. There it is, dude. All right, let's this start is beta out with my warlock. He's named Tully. Why? Well, Ferdinand is was taken. Tully? World of Warcraft doesn't dawdle. From the beginning, the quest proved to be bountiful. See, anyone with an exclamation mark over their head, well, they can't take care of themselves. The quest also have shown a good deal of variety from delivering items I'm overburdened to having to sever someone's head is proof of their execution. Combat is a fast-paced and frequent affair. It's also really easy to do. You can store your favorite attacks on this bar. Just select an object at your contempt, and then your death-giving technique, voila. You'll find yourself performing attacks faster than you think, but this faster isn't a wild you point think, click dude. fest. You really need to use strategy through attacks that cause residual damage or inhibit your enemy's ability to attack this you. Is, Tully's restricted both by this the need for some TV. attacks to recharge and the need to replenish the magic juice it expends. It all seems magic balanced juice. just right to keep things frenetic. <laughs> now, Tully here is not too quick with melee attacks, so I'm going to hide behind my avatar of an older blonde thinning hair type to make a friend. <laughs> Make a what? And things become much, much easier to handle once you party out. Oh, what? There's a lot of danger to be found in Nazaroth. Why not spread the risk? But that's not to say you can't enjoy yourself all by yourself. This is Doofer. He's a dwarf. What? Timney was taken. He's a warrior and can handle himself pretty well in sword on creature He's action. Clicking his He's quite the opposite of the warlock. Instead of good old charge. mana regulating his attacks, he has rage. He's more so charge was what a Thanks, blink. Thanks, Doofer. Then? 
The rage builds during combat and opens up some nasty oh little eviscerating maneuvers. And oh, I love grand. that sound. The like amazing right ability. Cantaloupe. What's most surprising is how much time I like to spend just exploring in World of Warcraft. The game is a visual treat. While it is a fantasy setting, the stylized art and character design give it considerably more character Old than Iron your typical Ford, Frank Frazetta cavalcade of stars. In addition, That's you're not stuck that, beating up on tiny creatures for hours yeah. before it gets fun. I was walloping an abominable yetis? snowman in my first sitting. Need more range. Okay. Target is out of range. What's most impressive is that this is only the beta test. The game is already Ooh. showing more polish than most completed games. I cannot wait to get my gnome on when World of Warcraft released. Summer of 2004, rage. man. I never have enough rage. World of Warcraft is looking very good. Something and we will, of course, changed. give you the full review when it finally comes out. And until then, there's a viewer man. Wow, what a... That's, so look at this. I wanted to show you guys something real quick. So where is it? So this fat guy right here, this was before they actually made all the models the same. And they had the original beta models in the game. This is like some big fat guy. This is somewhere in Stormwind here. So this is actually like a really, really, really long time ago. Uh, that's crazy though. Yeah, these are the Kulturan guys. Wait, no. You're right. We've actually come full circle. <laughs>